Coke and Pepsi, McDonald's and Burger King, there's no harm in friendly competition. But what happens when businesses are operating with an unfair advantage? tv Twenty's Chris Gilmore reports two local restaurants are now in a legal battle over barbecue. Tempers in this barbecue battle boiled over when owners of Newberry's Backyard Barbecue behind me say that some of their trade secrets got out and were transferred over to Bed's Burger Cafe over in High Springs. Now they're taking their arguments to court. Neither business owner is willing to comment on camera, but their customers were more than willing to defend their hometown taste. I just like good food, so I'm going to go where that's at, and I, that's, I like it. High Springs native Coley Rendek knows where to go for a good meal in town. Her trips often take her to Bev's Burger Cafe and Barbecue, a place for locals to load up on all sorts of beef, chicken, and pork. Really good. I I go there a lot, so. Um, I do eat at Bev's every now and then. As a matter of fact, I had a burger from there Monday. The success is due in part thanks to one of Bev's business partners, Rocky Voglio. Voglio also does business with Newberry's Backyard Barbecue, a business he once owned. Angela Salisbury purchased Backyard Barbecue in 2012. She also purchased a 51% ownership interest in Voglio's business, Rocky's Barbecue. Part of that transaction included a non-compete agreement stating that Voglio would not work or consult any restaurant serving barbecue within 35 miles of Backyard Barbecue. Customers I talk to here at Best Burger Cafe and Barbecue tell me that the food here is good, but over here in Newberry at Backyard Barbecue, owners of the restaurant behind me say that some of that signature taste is theirs. Three days after Salisbury's 37-page complaint was filed, Bev's attorneys filed a motion to dismiss. Already this month, four case proceedings have taken place. The most recent, a series of case management statements issued this week. Inside the restaurant, I was able to talk with Bev, who told me that she did not want to talk about the case on camera, but did tell me that everything will be handled in court. Reporting from High Springs, Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.